Christmas. We are here at the Ayala Malls by the Bay to try the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory Cafe. It's the first of its kind in the world. Um, so it will be interesting to find out what other things they have to offer aside from the ice cream that we have all around the metro. So Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory Cafe actually opened just last December 20th, Friday. So it's not even a week yet. And we're here to review their food options and the choices and find out whether it's masarap ba, sulit ba, and babit ba kami. Let's try it out! So interesting because this is the first, very first Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory Cafe in the world. First and only cafe of its kind. On the side, there's the familiar um, window where you can order their ice cream, of course. Because today is the 25th of December, it's Christmas. A lot of people are obviously out and about, so you could see that the restaurant is actually quite packed. Slightly, may katagala ng orders here. They place their orders at 8.27. It is now 8.45. They are also selling their signature cookies here at the cafe. So just like at the regular um, ice cream stores that they have, they also offer the same um, cookies and the different flavors. So you could, you don't have to miss out on this. Our orders were placed at 8.27 p.m. and it is now 8.56 p.m. The food hasn't arrived yet so it's a little long. Finally, our order has arrived. This is Gyu Bolognese. After 30 minutes of waiting. <laughs> Their spaghetti is um, al dente. Sarap ng um, lasa niya. Oh, may beefy yung flavor. Not too sour or yung maasin dahil kong ito din. It's good. It's a Filipino style. So, it's not sweet at all. Very beefy yung flavor. So, it's very good. Hamburg pilaf on a bed of Japanese pilaf rice. So 
So we just tried the Hamburg Pila. Masarap kasi makapal yung burger patty. Very meaty. And the rice is soft and very fluffy. Masarap siya. Hindi siya parang ano lang, burger steak. <laughs> Mukha lang mga ano siya. Um, several times better naman siya ng ano, burger steak. Masarap. So there's cheese pala inside. Kaya pala molten. Molten hamburg pila. Here's the Hayashi beef omo rice. So we will get to try how it is. And here's our Japanese pancake. It's fluffy. <laughs> it's jiggly and fluffy. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Turn it around. We originally ordered for the creme brulee pancake, but we switched it to just the regular Japanese pancake. Para hindi siya ma overwhelm yung sweetness. That's when it starts to taste sweeter. So yun, yun lang yung difference niya. Kung ayaw mo nang matamis, huwag ka na mag-sealer. Pero kung gusto mo nang matamis, huwag ka mo nang sealer. Yeah, kaya if you order the ones like yung creme brulee or the ones with other additional flavor and toppings, I guess it's sweeter kasi nga those are dumped directly onto the cake. So kung medyo you're not the type na gusto nang Everything is sweet. Okay, sir. Because you get to balance it and control it a bit. So I place some, yeah, I place some cream here. No cream, yeah. Has a slight um, sweetness there. That's very fluffy and with cream. And again, the texture itself, no pancake. Ano sa soft and fluffy, sir. Very light and airy. So, masarap naman. Worth the wait, baka hindi masyado. Sana next time, mas ma-improve nila yung, yung preparation. Kasi we waited for a little over 30 minutes. Uh, medyo matagal siya. But it's good. Okay. So here's our review of the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory Cafe. The first of its kind first, in the world. Apparently, this is the first cafe. First of its kind in the world. Uh, kahit sa Japan siya originated, yung brand na to, they don't even have a cafe there. That's an interesting story, di ba? So, our food review first is sulit ba? Masarap ba? Sulit ba? Tsaka, kung babalik ba kami? And if there's any other additional input. So, my first question is, masarap ba? Masarap yung food. Um, so, with what we've tried, I think I will come back and try again the, or order again, the beef bolognese, the beef omo, the Hamburg Villa. Pero yung beef omo rice, baka I will skip on that the next time I come here. I like also the pancake, the plain Japanese pancake. That was also good. Um, again, since Japanese are not known to have very sweet um, food, masarap yung balance ng pancake kasi it's not too sweet. Um, you can control it by adding the syrup. Pero if you don't like the sweetness, you can skip on the syrup. Um, we originally ordered for cream brulee pancake, but we opted to change that at the last minute because we wanted to get to taste some talaga the fluff pancake. So that was good. Uh, my next um, question is whether sulit ba? Slightly on the more expensive side siya. Um, the average price of the food here ranges from 320 to 350 pesos. So medyo slightly steep the price point niya. Um, Will I come back? Probably I would, but not immediately like in the next week or in the next uh, month. Baka mag-skip ako one month before I would come back here. Uh, primarily again, driven by siguro to give them time to improve on their process and their procedure. Medyo the order took quite a while before it got to us. 
Um, it took us some about something around 35 minutes before we got our orders. Um, so, medyo mahaba yung wait time. But the good thing was that because we were seated at saka they have provided naman a fast Wi-Fi, that's pretty good enough to while the time. Pero, again, if you're in a hurry, in terms of fast food, this isn't what you would normally call as fast food. Right? So, ayun. Let me turn it over to the sa mga kasama and let's ask them how they feel about the food and what they find great and the mga things na they would also like to prepare. So here is my brother Simon. So first question, masarap ba? Yeah, masarap siya. So what I like the most would be the bolognese. Okay. Because um, the pasta was al dente and yung, yung flavors niya, it's not too strong. And Parang tama lang yung balance sa'yo, pagka, pagka meaty niya, yung beef niya. Um, it's fresh, taste, even yung parmesan niya. Um, hindi siya long vegan. What about the pancakes? The pancakes, yeah, it's very fluffy and light. And as you saw in the video, it's bouncy, so um, it's good kasi hindi siya nakakasawa. Met your expectations? Yeah, yeah just okay. what we experienced in Japan. So, Parang sa Tokyo lang talaga. Yeah. No? Um, Sulit ba? Sulit ba? Like I said, um, the price might be on the higher side, so baka it may reduce it. Okay, <laughs> Maybe mga 2 50s or 200 range for some options might be good. If they introduce more food later on in their menu. Um, babalik ba ako? Uh, maybe not in another month. Uh, again, because they're, this is, they're still in the process of improving because it's soft COVID. Um, in terms of their service delivery, maybe they could be more efficient and they can faster, faster delivery. Good luck. So that's it from us for today. Hope you enjoyed our video and hope it helps. In case you're wanting to try out the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory Cafe here at the Ayala Mall Spider. So we'll see you on our next video. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye.